the difference between life and death. Plus, accusations are flying around about Kings Island's latest ride. And sobering summer facts from a local hospital, a possibly deadly accident they are seeing way too often. From the heart of where you live, this is Fox 45, Dayton's new source at 6.30. Kids may be back to school, but that certainly doesn't mean pool season is over. Good evening, I'm Kylie Conway. And I'm Don Hammond. A warning now from Dayton Children's Hospital officials tonight. They say they're seeing far too many drowning and near drownings this summer, and they want folks to stay safe while the warm weather still lasts out there. Fox 45's Jackie Kuchar joins us now with tonight's top story. Jackie? Well, Don and Kylie, drownings or near drownings are preventable every time, hospital officials say. More than half of the patients that Dayton's children has treated this summer were under the age of four, which to them means a lack of supervision. Drowning is a silent event. A child slips into the, into the water. They don't splash a lot. They can't catch their breath enough to scream or cry. They're not missing long. It can take just a minute or two for a child to drown or nearly drown. Lisa Schwang, the trauma nurse at Dayton Children's Hospital, sees it all too often. We're actually talking about children being pulled from a pool completely unconscious, unresponsive, uh, usually not breathing, and sometimes without a heartbeat. The hospital has seen a 20% increase in drownings and near drownings since 2008, and Schwing worries because even though kids are back to school, the weather's still warm enough to swim. Of the 17 incidents this year, she says the majority happened in backyards or family pools and ponds when adults weren't paying attention. They think um, they were only involved in something else for a minute, or they only ran in to, to get something off the kitchen counter, or, and it just takes just that long to get in trouble in water. Schwing says of children in trouble this year, the ones who underwent CPR recovered better. Earlier this summer, a quick-thinking 14-year-old boy saw a 6-year-old floating face down at the ward pool in Versailles. The young teen jumped in and pulled the boy to safety. A lifeguard performed CPR. Schwing says if you own a pool, consider yourself its lifeguard and get certified. If you know how to get yourself out of that kind of trouble, um, you might just save a life. She also says don't be surprised if your next visit to the doctors, your children's pediatrician may actually prescribe swimming lessons. This is to ensure your child has the best chance for survival if they get into trouble in the water. In the newsroom, Jackie Kuchar, Dayton's News Source. Well, it was pretty pleasant today, pretty cool, so chances are the kids didn't really want to hit up the pool. But as we head through that seven-day, they're going to want to head out to that pool because we have a return to summer in your seven-day forecast. We'll get to that coming up. Clean sweeps on your radar right now. Look at our daytime lows. We started off the day in Dayton at 53 degrees, 52 in Springfield, 51 down in Hamilton. But you know what? Tonight will be even cooler. Things are looking fantastic for you Friday, and we watch the high school football season kick off tomorrow night. We'll have great fall-like weather for that. It'll feel like football season, but how low will it get tonight? I'll answer that question coming up, guys. See you then. Thank you, Jeff. Springfield police now interviewing a man in connection with a bank robbery today. Police say someone held up the Security National Bank on Limestone Street about 9.30 this morning. Right now, it's not known if the robber did have a weapon. The alleged thief was apprehended shortly after the heist. No one inside that bank was hurt. An 81-year-old man sits behind bars tonight, accused of sex crimes against children. Samuel Moody of Harrison Township is being held on suspicion of rape of a child under the age of 10 and gross sexual imposition. Few details are being released at this point, but Montgomery County Sheriff's investigators say they expect formal charges against Moody tomorrow. One of the men allegedly involved in a scary home invasion earlier this week turned himself into police. A 25-year-old man surrendered to trauma police today in connection with a home invasion where three masked men reportedly took the homeowner from his house and then shot at police. The trio released the homeowner unharmed and no officers were hit by the shots. The suspect has been booked into jail, though the other two alleged crooks remain on the loose. A legal dispute is spinning around Cedar Point and Kings Island's plan for the new high-flying Windseeker ride. An Australian ride maker is claiming that ride was copied from a concept they showed off to Cedar Fair officials. But the Dutch manufacturer of the ride and their lawyer says that claim is without merit. Cedar Fair says a legal dispute will not ground the Windseeker for any of its parks. When introduced next year, it will spin riders 300 feet above the ground at speeds reaching 30 miles an hour. A Bengals, Cincinnati Bengals cheerleader has won $11 million in a libel lawsuit. 
Sarah Jones is a teacher in northern Kentucky who's also a baby.